sharing five lazy mom organizing hacks. My first hack is making picture labels for your kids' toy bins because picture labels are key to having your kids put away their toys on their own. So to do it really fast, you want to print out pictures you steal from Google Images of whatever's inside the bin on sticker paper sheet. You get this like any big box store, any office supply store, they sell it at Walmart, print it off and stick it on your bin. You're gonna have beautiful custom labels that will definitely entice your kids to put their toys away. My next hack is totally using a dollar store shoe organizer to like contain all your kids' little stuff. Millions of Beanie Boos, action figures, Barbies, whatever it is, throw those on the back of their door with one of these dollar shoe organizers. My next hack gives you wall storage for days for just a few dollars. Milo's like crazy into reading right now, which is awesome, but he has so many books. And the floppy jalopy paper ones, they're really hard to organize on a bookshelf. So get some dollar store bins and hang them on your walls using 3M hooks. Not only does it look kind of cool, it's super fast and easy, and you get a lot of organization for just a little bit of time and money. This next hack is totally my favorite. My kids have a lot of Lego and they love Lego and Lego's messy and plus they want to keep all their creations and where do you put them? So an under the bed roll out Lego table is perfect. You can also like repurpose old dresser drawers. Just stick some casters on the bottom and roll them in and out for storage for your kids' cars or train sets or whatever it is that they like to spread on the floor anyways. When they're done playing, just kick that roll out right under the bed and it's tidy and clean. Joe made this awesome rollout using scrap wood that we had. It was left over from a delivery box actually, like a crate which a scrap box came in and he used it to fashion this fabulous rollout thing by sticking caster wheels on the bottom. I'm so in love with this quick, easy hack. And my last hack is also perfect if you don't want to construct a rollout table to store your Lego. It's this Lego bag. Six dollars on Amazon. This is a steal. It's not just for Lego though. You can use it for any of those kids toys with lots of small pieces. Spread it out, let them play, and pull the string when they're done and have it instantly cleaned up. I'm so in love with this bag. I am now not stepping on Lego pieces anymore. It's awesome sauce. I'm going to put a link down below if you want to get one too. So thanks so much for watching. If you want more lazy hacks, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to put a link to an old lazy mom hack video that I super love and I know you will too. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I've recently been told by many, many, many people, not recently, probably for the past five years, that I dress kind of old. And that's the truth. I do. I dress... I got old lady gear rocking. That's 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 my style. So we went shopping with younger people, um, a friends to buy more cooler, hipper clothes. You know, and the first stop was Forever Twenty One, which has plus sizes. It doesn't matter the size. Crop tops and tube tops are not made for this body. I also learned about something called bucket pants. <laughs> if you just don't, bucket pants should not be worn by me. And so they come up to your boobs and then on top you're supposed to wear like a tube top or a leotard, you know, like where you dance and you do jazzercise in. You know what I'm saying? They sell these things. They sell these things. So I, I crammed myself into one. It was not pretty. And also a, a sleeveless tube, but crappie. <sighs> I'm getting just, it was. As bad as you're picturing, worse. So then I was like, they were suggested, a, a, you know, a strapless bra. So I could wear things without tops, which I should never do. But anyways, and I said, these are an E, my friends. This is the thing that small people don't understand. Big boobs, they need reinforcement to hold, especially 40-year-old large boobs. And so the best strapless bra in the world, I put one on, still look like an inner tube when you're at the pool. Okay, that's what I looked like in this tube top. <laughs> I just, woo! 
and so it was eye-opening for them because I was a small person for a lot of my life and then I became a large person I gained 120 pounds I didn't know what you're saying why don't you just lose weight you'll be easier to find clothes shut your cake holes but um it was so eye-opening to me to see the difference. There's all of four stores that, that sell plus-size clothing in my city, and you're, you're either, it's party tents, or the bigger the size go, the longer the legs and arms get for some reason, like you're a weird alien body. Like if, you're, if you have a junk in your trunk and a gut, you must have six feet long legs too. And so it just, it was four hours at the mall and they looked broken and defeated at the end of our shopping trip, which made me so happy because that's just, I'm not, a, that's, that's my life. That is shopping as a big person. So I thought I'd share that with you. I don't know why, because maybe it's the struggle. I think someone needs to come out and make a clothing line. And I know almost McCarthy did it, but have you tried them on? Everyone, I love her. Have you tried on her clothing? Have you? Anyways, they need to make a clothing line that's like actually fits women. The bigger you are doesn't mean the longer your legs are. And we don't, we have boobs, but we have a waist. It's in there. So we don't want a big tent. We don't want a moo moo. Let's say we don't want a moo moo. What am I yelling about? I'll see you guys next time. What? What?